Before we actually start broadcasting notifications in the application, we need to understand how the notifications work. But first, we are going to create a new notification. So PHP Addison make notification. And the name of this notification is going to be for our first case in which we need a notification. So the add a new friend request notification. So new friend request. And notification created successfully. If we go back to our structure in our app directory, we have a new folder called notifications and we have a notifications.php. Okay. So first of all, before we start looking at our notification, we are going to look at all the channels so that we'll be able to understand how the not notifications work. So the first channel we are going to be looking at is pusher. So what is pusher? Right here we have pusher. PHP by default has a broadcasting system for a broadcasting events but php does not it's not a language by default that supports real-time applications unlike node.js where you can create sockets using maybe socket.io to connect the front end and the back end and there's an open channel or an open socket running so what we are going to use is laravel's broadcasting service which runs on php's events broadcasting service so laravel is going to broadcast a notification or broadcast uh, an event and once this broadcast is once this event is broadcasted, we will need a way to pick up this broadcasted event and that is where Pusher comes in. So Pusher is going to pick up this event and as soon as it picks up this event, it's going to broadcast to our front end. Now Pusher uses a particular methodology to do this. So it has what we call channels. So Lavo broadcasts to an, broadcasts an event and it says, hey, this particular event, I'm broadcasting this event to channel 123, for example. Pusher picks up this event, it verifies maybe if your token or your key for your application is registered with their service and all that. And then as soon as it picks up this event, it now checks into the front end. Is anybody listening to this channel called 123? And if, it's, if there's someone listening to that channel, meaning maybe there's an open socket, meaning the, the channel is activated in the front end, means you, we have subscribed to that channel using our front end technology, whether it's Vue.js or jQuery or JavaScript. Once we subscribe to that channel, Pusher knows that, okay, someone is listening to that channel. And once it gets this event from Lavo, which might contain a payload, it broadcasts this event to our front end channel. And since we are listening to that channel, we just pick up the message that comes in. So gives us a real time experience. We don't need to get data from our server because as soon as Lavo broadcast it, we receive the notification. And as soon as we receive the notification with Pusher, Pusher now pushes it to our front end. So Pusher is now acting like a socket between our front end and our back end. So now Pusher has three different types of channels for broadcasting. So we have a public, we have a private, and we have a presence. So the public simply leaves an open channel meaning anybody that wants to subscribe to that channel for example the name can be notifications anybody can subscribe to that channel so if I have my browser open I receive notifications and if you have your browser open you can receive the notifications also so it does not matter if this is private or, or not so it just leaves an open channel so private channels work a little bit different private channels receive notifications from the back end and Pusher actually authenticates to see if the authenticated user or the person listening to that channel at that moment is supposed to be listening to that channel. Now we can look at how this works in our broadcast service provider. Now this is the broadcast service provider and by default Lavo registers a routes. And if we go ahead and check our routes, we'll discover that we have a new route. So we'll say PHP artisan routes list and uh, since we have updated or activated our broadcasting driver, we should have a new route called broadcasting authentication. And this broadcast us driver is used by Pusher. And Pusher is going to, as soon as Pusher gets the, the events from the back end and the channel name, it's going to check, is that channel a private channel? If it's a private channel, then okay, we need to authenticate the user who is listening to this channel. You will now send an Ajax request to our server, the same server that broadcasted the event. And this server right here, and this, our Lavo application right here is going to authenticate that channel. So this is the authentication right here. So we are authenticating the user's private or personal channel. So for private channels, it's going to send that Ajax request. And right here, our application just needs to return a true or a false. So it either says authenticated or not. So right here, we have a channel. So we say for app.user.anything. So any channel that is in this format, we are going to check if the authenticated user 
of this application at this moment is the same as the ID that we received from Pusher. So we are going to return a true if this ID, the authenticated user's ID is equal to the ID that Pusher sent to us to cost check. So once we send a true, then Pusher can now broadcast to that channel. So authenticated means the user will now be subscribed to that channel and he can listen to his private notifications. So presence channel works in exactly the same way, but this gives the possibility for many more users and the users that are connected to that channel can know that they are connected. So we can use the presence channels maybe in a chat application where we need to know who is authenticated or who is in this chat right now. So we are not going to be using presence channels, but it's just almost exactly the same thing as private channels, except for multiple users and the knowledge of their presence between them all. Okay, so now that we understand how these drivers work, so what we're going to be doing is broadcasting a notification, for example, in our friendships controller. And when we broadcast the notification, as soon as someone adds a friend, it's going to send or it's going to trigger an event to push her, which we are going to see right here in our debug console. We would see the events that has been triggered right here. And once we receive that event, we are going to subscribe using our, our Vue.js. We are going to subscribe using Echo and Vue.js to a notifications channel. So since we are broadcasting a notification to a particular user, we are going to be broadcasting to the app dot user dot and this dot star here is going to stand for the ID of the user to whom we are broadcasting. So once we broadcast this notification, we go ahead to our Vue.js, we subscribe to that channel. Pusher is going to make an authentication request, Ajax authenticator authentication request to this method. This method is going to return true or false to make sure that the authenticated user at that time is supposed to be listening to that channel. Once it sends a true, then Pusher will be open. So the channel will be open for that user to listen to. And once it's open from here, the notification now goes to our application in the front end. And of, and of course, if you don't understand this, don't worry, you'll do it and you'll be clearer for you. Okay. So that's it for Pusher. The, doc the, the, the documentation is there if you want to have more knowledge about Pusher, but that's how it's going to be working with Laravel.